The final recipient of the Engineering Medal for Research and Development is Dr. Frank Vecchio. I remember as a student uh, back in elementary school uh, looking out the window and uh, watching the buildings rise on the Toronto skyline and, and the mid 70s, early 70s, mid 70s were at a tremendous time in Toronto with all these new developments going up and these were all very interesting to me so it just naturally piqued an interest in engineering combined with my interest in maths and sciences. My dad was an immigrant, eventually ended up working in construction and he was on the concrete finishing crew on a number of projects that he was working on. So in my own way that was sort of a way of honoring my father, just carrying on. He was a laborer, I was an engineer, both working in, in concrete. Most students going into structural engineering see themselves as designers, want to be designers, want to create great buildings. My interest was more again back in the um, sort of math and physics aspects of it. I want to be able to describe or to model exactly what a structural element will do under a certain set of support conditions and loading conditions. And so developing this theory allowed me to be able to model the performance of structures under various loads that was not possible to any great extent previously. So back in the 70s and early 80s, uh, application of this approach to the analysis of concrete structures was still in the early stages. And the people working in that area said, you know, uh, with regards to the modified compression field theory, great, but we really can't use it because it's not adaptable to finite element procedures or other methods of analysis. And so hearing that, well then I said, you know, well, yeah, that's not true. And then I sort of set out to develop the analysis programs myself. The vast majority of the time, things that I try don't work. But occasionally there'll be that time, and typically it's when I'm at home in the winter time, snow's flying outside, I'm all alone, and I try something and it works. And then that's the greatest feeling, because however small an innovation you've done, it's built upon all these previous supposed failures, and now you can do something that you haven't been able to do before that perhaps no one else has been able to do before. And it's just a payback for all that work that's gone into it and it makes it all worthwhile. Well, I thought maybe my dad might be proud of me. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm closer to the finish line now than I am to the start of my career and um, you know, I'd, I'd like to think that I've uh, spent my time and my energy well. Um, so this is a little bit of confirmation that maybe I've done that. For his leadership in Canada's concrete industry, engineer Frank Vecchio is a worthy recipient of the Engineering Medal in the Research and Development category. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Frank Vecchio.